everybody long time no see it's uh it's rachel here i was just gonna update you guys really quick because i had um i haven't made a video in forever and i have lots of stuff to share with you guys um, i hope the sliding is not too funky because like the side of my face is really dark and this side's really bright because the window's right here maybe i'll just try to sit like this so that my face is lit up i don't know anyways excuse my christmas wrapping paper that's still in the corner <laughs> It's only been sitting there for like two months now. Okay, so first order of business is um, if you follow me on Facebook, I have been talking about how I um, I did this experiment because uh, Miss HCG Girl recommended uh, that on the days that I work really long doubles at work, which you guys know I, I have struggled with for months and months and months and months and months. Didn't know what to do. Always gained. Tried everything. Increased my calories. Tried detox baths. Tried everything under the sun. She's like, well, why don't you try um, increasing your your fats, like having your pro your protein and fats be about equal, because she said that always um, helped her when she was on P3 and, and on maintenance. So I was like, well, all right, what's it going to hurt? Because normally um, my breakdown is like 50, between 50 to 60 percent proteins, um, between 25 and 35 percent fats, and everything else is carbs per day. Usually, that's what I would do. So, um, I did it. Monday, I um, I ate a piece of cheesecake. And I, I worked 11 hours, was exhausted, came home, and my back hurt really bad, so I took a detox bath, which was awesome. And um, I woke up the next day, and I think after Monday, I had lost 0. .6. So I was really excited about that. Um, well, I tried again yesterday. Uh, now, my weight had gone up a little bit because... Um, Wednesday I didn't eat enough calories I was out all day um, I was actually off work Wednesday I'll talk about that in a little bit but um, I didn't have enough so I went up a little bit but yesterday I tried it again I was like okay we're gonna see if this works a second time or if it was just a fluke so um, same thing Thursdays are my big day 11 hours at work really hard double I was exhausted ate a piece of cheesecake instead of a protein bar because usually in the afternoon I have a protein bar a protein shake and an apple as my snacks and I just kind of space them out. So I still have my protein shake um, that I make with blueberries and um, the, the whey protein powder and the almond milk. So that's a pretty good balance of fats and carbs and protein. Um, instead of the protein powder, oh, that's Kabbalah texting me. I was, I was texting her about, uh, about my cheesecake thing. She asked me how it went. Um, anyways, so um, I had another piece of cheesecake. And this is what I bought. This is just the box. It's in my fridge. But this is, uh, I went to the store and bought this. It's just Sara Lee. And it's actually really small because a serving size is a quarter of the cheesecake. Which I think the wedge is only about, not even that big. Um, it's, it's really not big at all. And um, as you can see on the picture, it has like this graham cracker crust. Well, I didn't eat the crust. I just ate the cheesecake filling. And I, I had the quarter of the, of the cake. And, um... Then went to work and ate my apple, and then I had a protein shake for dinner. Woke up this morning, and I was down 0.8. So, it is my opinion that I think that this is the thing that works for me. I think that my body um, just responds better to having a higher um, balance of fats. And, uh, you know, like, so my proteins and fat needs to be a little bit more close together on the days that I'm doing um, so much work. Because, you know, usually on days that I work one shift, um, it's not usually ever a problem um, because I, I will still, because I, I usually don't have that second protein bar and maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's just too much protein. Um, so, cheesecake is the answer for me. I don't know um, if this will work for everybody, but if you're struggling on P3, like I have been for like ever because you guys know that I'm always talking about gaining weight on P3 and I was so confused about it and I'm just working so much like that it, it just constantly was driving me insane so uh, I finally found something that works for me yay okay so next order of business I talked about buying a bikini for my motivation to get fit for the summer I'm now going to be calling it my Finspiration bikini and it's not the same one that I told you about because I tried it on and it looked a little silly. <laughs> this one actually is really cute and I will show you. And it is a bikini. So this is the top. 
See, it's got a really cute pattern. And the reason why I got this one is because it is actually like, it's push up, it's padded. So it, it makes the ladies look good. Um, so that's the top, it's just a little halter top and has a little clip in the back. And then um, these are the little bottoms. It's got the little strings on the side so you can adjust how it fits, which I like because I don't like stuff to look tight on me, you know? So. I will be using that as my inspiration to get fit for the summertime. Um, I am. I think I'm going to start working on Zumba. Um, my boyfriend and I have talked about maybe joining a gym together so that we, um, you know, can both have a membership, and the price will be a little bit cheaper if we do it together. And um, we're trying to look at a gym right now that maybe gives Zumba classes, so that would be cool. Or I might try. The Wii game, which I talked about. I also still have the DVDs. Um, I can always use the DVDs. But um, Donna, um, Donna's HTG Journey, told me that she thinks she finally got the Wii game figured out and said it was really fun. So um, maybe I'll try that too. Um, I have been so like ridiculously crazy busy lately, guys. Um, like I said, I worked Monday on Valentine's Day, so I didn't get to have a traditional Valentine's Day. Um, Tuesday and Wednesday were my Valentine's Day, zuh, because it was plural. Um, I actually have a really cute story about that. My boyfriend um, originally told me that the plan was for me to figure out what I wanted to do, and then we would just, you know, do whatever I wanted to do. Well, Tuesday he texts me while I'm at work and says, I think I have a place that we can go eat tonight, but I'm not going to tell you where. And I was like, Okay, I said, well, how should I dress, you know, because I'm not going to show up to some nice place and jeans and a t-shirt, you know. He's like, well, I said, you know, should I wear a dress, should I wear pants and a nice shirt? He said, well, um, dress nice, but not too dressy. Uh, well, I ended up talking to him on the phone, and he said, well, if you want to wear a dress, that's fine. So I, find, I ended up wearing a dress, um, this really cute uh, purple kind of band looking strap. It's, it was really cute. So we got in the car and he wouldn't tell me where we were going. He wouldn't tell me the address of where we were going because he was afraid I would look it up on my phone and he wanted it to be a surprise. So we went to this new, um, kind of like a new outlet place called Class and Curve. Um, it's in Oklahoma City. And we went to this restaurant called 105 Degrees. And I had never heard of it. And, you know, we walked in. It was really nice, really classy looking place. Um, you know, it had the, the white plates. Like you see, like it makes me think of Food Network because all the chefs on the Food Network always... Um, plate their food on these white plates and it looks really clean and nice and so we sat down and he's like what do you think what do you think and I'm like oh you know it's it's a really nice place and he's like look at the menu I'm like okay and so I looked at it and you know I was just reading what it said and I'm like what And he goes it's vegan so this place is actually um, it's vegan it's all raw food no animal products whatsoever gluten-free and um, the reason why it's called 105 degrees is because they cook all their food under 105 degrees to preserve all the uh, nutritional properties of the food. And it was amazing. The food was so good. Oh my gosh. Um, you know, the portions were a lot smaller than what, you know, Americans are typically used to. But um, we had a discussion with the, the server who waited on us about how you know, today's culture, you're made to believe that these huge portions are what's right for you, when in actuality, you don't need that much food. You know, Americans are used to excess, and it's just kind of sad, and so um, portions were really great. I had a, it was a caramelized veggie pizza that they made a crust out of flax and um, something else, and it was really crispy and yummy, and it had this, um, they used tomato paste and this basil pesto for um, the sauce, and then it had heirloom tomatoes cut up in halves, Kalamata olives, and caramelized onions, I think, and then it had uh, chopped spinach on it. It was so good, and it had this cheese, which wasn't really a cheese because they don't use animal products, but it was this, they called it a macadamia ricotta cheese because it's actually made from macadamia nuts, and it was so good, and my boyfriend had... Um, an heirloom tomato lasagna and so instead of the noodles they use really thinly sliced zucchini and tomato slices and his had the tomato paste on it and the basil pesto and the macadamia ricotta cheese and um, it was fantastic everything was so good um, we decided to skip an appetizer so we could have dessert because he said he had read that the desserts were really really good and we had um, it was a pomegranate 
red velvet layer cake. Remember that there's no dairy, there's no, it's gluten free. This was like one of the best desserts I've ever had in my entire life. I'm not even kidding you. And it's like you feel you feel totally not guilty eating it because you know it's good for you. Um, it was like a it was a big piece of cake. Like he and I shared it, and it came with this. Um, it's they called it a Chantillier um, ice cream, which of course was not really ice cream because there's no dairy, and um, a little chocolate covered piece of the cake. And it was uh, the plate was so beautiful. Like they brought it out, I was like I don't even want to eat it. It's so pretty. And my boyfriend's like I don't, you know, he just dug into it because it was really good. Um, that was my boyfriend. Um, but it was amazing, and so then, uh, the next day we hung out together too, and it was just awesome. So, that's what I've been up to, um, I just wanted to update you guys because it's been so long, and it'll probably be at least, maybe, maybe two weeks before I update again. Um, my mom is coming to town tonight though, so I think we want to try to make a video together. She's going to stay with me tonight, and, um... Hopefully that will happen because, as you all know, if you've ever watched us make a video before, um, hilarity tends to ensue when she and I get on the camera together. So um, we may put that up. Um, but as far as updating goes, I probably won't be because I have, uh, from today, I have 10 days until I have to be out of my apartment uh, when my lease runs out. So I'm going to be in packing and moving mode for the next 10 days. So, But I just want to check in with you guys. This is a long vlog, but I haven't talked to you in a long time, so I had a lot to talk about. Um, I hope everyone's doing awesome, and I love you all so much. Miss HG Girl, thank you so much for the suggestion about the fats, because you have literally saved my life. <laughs> so, um, I love everybody, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye!